Blender is a free app that you can use to edit videos for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Steam. Is that an operating system? So let's open it up, click video editing here, and whoa, what's wrong with the graphics? Ah! Important! In the next tutorial, I'll explain how to make autosaves not disappear if your computer freezes and you have to restart it. What? Make sure you watch it or you might lose hours of work. Let's start video editing. You can browse for your video file over here or you can use your own computer's file manager. So here's the video file I want to edit. Just drag it to this area over here. You can also drag pictures to your video. Move this blue line to where you want to cut your video. Left click this video strip to select it. Press K and it cuts. Oh, whoops, it didn't cut the audio strip. So click one strip, hold shift on your keyboard and click the other strip. And there you go, press K. Now it cuts both strips. To move around like this, Whee! make sure your mouse cursor is over this area and then hold the scroll wheel of your mouse, the middle mouse button, and then move around. Whee! And to zoom in or out, just scroll. But if my mouse cursor is over here, it will move this instead. And you can zoom in and out like that too. Now if my mouse is over here, and I use a scroll wheel, oh, it scrolls here, and it moves around here. To move strips around, select it, press G on your keyboard, and move it, oh wait, it's only moving this strip. So you gotta select both of them. You can drag your mouse like this to select more than one strip. Press G on your keyboard, move your mouse, left click, or press enter on your keyboard. And there you go. So when there's two video strips on top of each other like this, the top one will override the bottom one. So this strip is showing up here, and if you go over here, now this strip starts to show. If we move this away, now this strip only shows. But for audio strips, both of them will play. Oh, confusing. Let's move these back. Press G. Press G. Why isn't it working? Because my mouse is over here and I'm pressing G. It doesn't move it. Your mouse has to be over this workspace area. Press G and then you can move it. Also, while you're moving something, if you don't want to move it, you can press escape and it'll go right back to where it was. Or you can press right click to cancel it. Why right click? Because Blender's weird. It used to be weirder though. If you click a strip here, you'll see that one side is highlighted, but not the other side. If you press G, you'll make it longer or shorter. And you can do it on the other side too. To move the entire strip, you gotta click in the middle so that none of the side thingies are selected. Now you can move the whole strip. To get rid of this gap, move the blue line here and press backspace on your keyboard. Ta-da! Some keyboards call it delete, but make sure it's not the smaller delete button. And to delete a strip, select it and press X or that other delete button, the smaller delete button. Backspace won't delete it though. It will only try to remove gaps. So let's play the video. So you can see the blue line moving along and wait a minute, why did the blue line go all the way back here? It should have kept playing the rest of the video. You see here in the bottom right corner where it says start and end, you have to drag this end button until the until this region covers the whole video. Oh, there we go. Now I got to move it back. And eh, there we go. Matter whether you press a C. Ta-da. And starts should be 1. Now these numbers, the start and end, those are frames. But up here, it shows seconds plus frames. So for example, so the blue line right now is at the 8th frame of 1 minute and 31 seconds. And now the blue line is at 1 minute 31 seconds and the 29th frame. And my video is set to 30 frames per second. The next tutorial is making sure autosave is permanent. Important! Part 3 will be how to render or export your video so you can upload it to YouTube. And I might upload another video on extra tips. If this video helped you, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye!